video coming up for you guys. I do apologize that I don't have a flashlight attached to the GoPro for this, but I do have my headlamp and a couple other lights going, so hopefully you guys can see enough. Uh, awesome video. Got went out and did some cut bait fishing. Uh, basically collected some bluegills and sunfish, froze them, cut them up when we got over to the lake, put them out on some circle hooks, and we got a hold of some catfish. A couple days beforehand, unfortunately, I did not have my GoPro with me. I did break my new PB from 10 pounds to 16 pounds to 12 ounces, almost 17 pounds. Awesome fish, went out and back again with my buddy Jacob. He's still on the grind, on the struggle, trying to get another catfish. And he hasn't gotten one in a few years. I pulled out a 10 pounder. This was the day before the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, by the way, by the time you're seeing this, it's probably going to be underneath as of the big catfish again I didn't end up being able to take a video of that one but I'll drop it underneath right now hey you know what time it is it's fishing time oh, oh, baby. up on the camera there's a fire over there He put slack in it. I'm waiting for him to pick it up. Hey, he might be on. I'm just letting him pick it up. He put slack because he pulled enough line and then stopped. That's why I want to know Maybe he still has it. Old bluegill. So does so does this one. This one's been biting the old bluegill too. Oh no! <laughs> Ew, that was great. <laughs> you put the bell back on the other one. <laughs> man was asking me about the coyotes and I'm like honestly Jacob and I stabbed them. <laughs> I'm like it's it's a dog. It's it's a dog. If you kick a dog in the face it's really not going to continue. Exactly. Like it's noise, noise and size. Oh, this right here was the one that just broke off like you know a couple hours ago when we first showed up um, a cat just took a line and I picked up the rod there was nothing on it reeled in and I brought back my hook so um, obviously when he pulled off he finished eating whatever bluegill was on here and then spat the hook but um, I uh, less important to me getting the hook back he got the line out of his mouth. If or not. <laughs> yes, I can. All right, guys, got a cat. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dude, he's mad. I'm so glad I respooled this. I would have been breaking my rod on that braid trying not to let him run like that. Jacob, this is either huge or it's just because I'm on the light. Thank you. Oh my god. I couldn't even... Okay guys, so I was trying to cast out my third rod and I couldn't. Oh shit. He's taking us on an adventure. Literally going around the corner. Whoa guys! Literally going around the corner with him. Where are you going, fish? <laughs> okay.
can you come here? All right, guys, so a few videos back, I know, I was thinking about that. <laughs> a few videos back, as you guys know, I went bed fishing with my grandfather, link down below. Um, I found a rod, and this is the rod that I found. This is what I'm using right now. I put one of the old reels I have that I use for pike ice fishing on here, and I re-spooled it with some 15-pound mono. This might be an eater, actually. It might just be because of the ultralight. Yeah. Um, and this is now the extra catfish rod. There we are. Yeah. Oh, maybe even eight. Uh, that's an eater. All right, guys. Come here, buddy. Oh man. Boom! Catfish. Bam. Oh shit. Thank you. Can you get a picture of that? Here we are guys. Catfish. Boom. Cool. I barely had a hook. Hi Katie. Dude, he's a good size. Yeah, like he kept going, so that's why I was like, oh, I guess I'm walking with him. I'm not going to fight him on an ultralight sideways. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Nine ounces. Nine, ten pounds. Ten point one. Ten, ten two. two. We'll just call it ten one because yeah. he's going between. We'll call it 10. 10 pound cat. Good deal. Good deal. I think we should put a, even him back. He's a little yeah. much. That's a lot of food. So we're going to be putting most of these guys back. We don't, I don't really eat the catfish. Yeah, that's a lot of food. Yes, yes, please. All right, guys. Could you get some back? There we go. Some extra light, if you don't mind. Oh, Thank you. Okay. All right. Our 10 pound channel here. Beautiful. There we go. Gosh, she blows. Into the stick. Into the stick. <laughs> Already rolling around. That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Cap, what has gone over so far? Um, basically hooked into something giant on the biggest rod, and I held the spool for a second, like just a second, to tighten the drag, and it didn't even like pull so hard that I'm like, oh my god, I should loosen this up. It just instantaneously snapped. Oh, there's another bite. Um, caught a 10 pound catfish, and as we speak, I'm getting another bite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, I apologize for not having intros and outros and being super personal with you guys quite yet. I'm gonna start doing that a lot more, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna try to pay attention a little bit more about that. I wanna be more personal with you guys and help you guys out understand who I am, not just watch me catch a couple fish and be like, oh, I don't know who this kid is. But anyways, if you liked the video, smash that like button, leave a comment below and let me know your favorite catfish bait what you normally catch them on, I maybe I've tried it, maybe I haven't, I'll respond and let you know. That's probably a better idea than what I've been doing, I don't really know too much about catfish. Uh, more videos coming up, if you enjoy the outdoor content, we do more, uh, more a new video every single Friday and Tuesday.